Here we are in New York Comic Con 2018, day number three. Uh, we just narrowly escaped the fire in the Twisted Tunes panel, but luckily the it was safe, everything was taken care of, uh, but we got a chance to finally talk to uh, Josh Greeley. Hey, how's it going? Uh, you may know him from Attack on Titan, Black Clover, My Hero Academia, uh, 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 what's the other one? Dragon Super. Ball Super! Oh my god, you know, so many, yeah. it's, it's hard to even lift. Um, <laughs> So, Josh, how's been your Comic-Con so far? Dude, this is my first time ever at uh, a New York Comic-Con or, or anything of this size, and it's been ridiculous. <laughs> it's been amazing. Absolutely incredible. Any other fires at the other cons? <laughs> no! <laughs> no, no fires. No fires down here, either. You guys get the exciting experiences. So, are you here... Were you here just today? Or? Nope, all weekend. I was all here weekend? Thursday, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Fanboy out? <laughs> Several times. Now, uh... With us being uh, the Tsunami Faithful podcast, TsunamiFaithful.com, uh, before the interview we were kind of talking about, you're an old school Tsunami guy. Yes. I, my, uh, when my little podunk Texas town finally got cable, the first thing that I went to watch was Tsunami because I'd heard about it from so many of my friends. Uh, and uh, so I came in around the time when Sailor Moon was in S. Not Super S. It was like Sailor Moon. No, it was R. So it was like first run. Uh, Sailor Moon. No, it was S. Sailor Moon S, Tenchi Muyo, uh, Outlaw Star, Dragon Ball Z. And at that point, they were doing, uh, it was still the Frieza saga. So like Goku was just about to go Super Saiyan. And like, I just, it, I had been into anime for a little bit at that point because of like Pokemon and Digimon and all that stuff. But then when Toonami hit, like that just, it solidified my my, I took a nosedive into into weebdom, <laughs> and, and, and I never left. And uh, so yeah, like it, it was, it's surreal as hell to now, fifteen years later, be sitting here and not only have tsunami back on the air, but I'm now all over it. Yeah, you're right. Like, <laughs> And that was going to be my question: Is how does it feel to be someone who at one point watched it on TV and then, uh, you know, surreal as hell? Like, uh, if you had told me 15 years ago that I was going to be on Tsunami or anything like that, I would have thought you were a psycho, punched you in the face, and told you to get away from me <laughs> while calling the police. But now it's just I'm just like, okay, what can I do next? Now, on top of being voice talent, uh, I believe for Attack on Titan you also do ADR. Yes, I did. Well, well, ADR is is really the is is dubbing. Mm -hmm. Dubbing is ADR. Oh, okay. uh, so uh, there's. I used to do ADR script work, like writing for the dubs, but I did not write for Attack on Titan. Oh, okay. But you just you super you, do, you, do you supervise them? No, no, no. no. Oh. That's Mike McFarland. That's the director. ADR literally just means automated dialogue replacement. Oh, okay. And it's there's nothing, which is kind of a misnomer because if there's nothing automated about it, <laughs> uh, it it's because we we all come in there and we do it analog, we do it manually. We have engineers that do everything for themselves or whatever. But like it's 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 just a way to signify uh, um, the process of someone coming in and replacing dialogue by recording. It. Okay. Now, any uh, have you with Attack on Titan season three? Has that? Has that you, you've, you've seen the you've seen the, the uh -huh. Holy Grail. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh my God! Like this whole season, especially for my character, for Armin, has been freaking rough because uh, no longer are they dealing with just fighting mindless beasts; they're fighting other people, and so he's struggling with the moral implications of that. Uh, but other than that, there's just there's been some surprises, there's been some gore, and there's been all sorts of crazy poopy stuff, and there's even worse stuff coming down the road that they haven't even seen yet. <laughs> so, it's, uh, it, it's been a ride. Now, have, have you read ahead in the manga? I oh. thought it spoiled for me. <laughs> I know what's coming for him. Uh, I won't say so here. Is, is there any, any other... Any other spoilers or any kind of teases you want to give us before we let you go? Or yeah, for the tsunami, tsunami faithful. So for uh, keep your eye on William Vengeance and Black Clover. I don't trust him. I voice him. I don't trust him. <laughs> uh, but and also for Titan, just stay tuned. If you haven't read the manga and you don't want to spoil yourself, keep it that way. I would just say. 
especially for Armin. Big things are coming. Very big. Well, once again, this is Chris Cologne with the Tsunami Faithful Podcast, TsunamiFaithful.com, with Josh Greenlee. Uh, Thank you very much. Have a good con. Thank you. Same to you. Bye, Bye.